So nearly three years ago, October 2021, Meta, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg announced that they were working on a remake, well, specifically a VR remake, for GTA San Andreas. There was no trailer, no screenshots, just Marky Mark excited about uh, the prospects of a VR version of this game. And then silence for nearly three years until recently. Now, brace yourselves for all of you that were excited about uh, the VR version of GTA San Andreas. I'm sure there wasn't a lot out there that were. Yeah, unfortunately, it's been put on indefinite hold, delayed, <laughs> scrapped most likely. IGN article link below in the description section. I'll just go over the cliff notes, how it's been put on hold indefinitely, but they look forward to working with Rockstar Games in the future. And apparently Meta has lost a lot of money. Probably most of the VR industry has lost a lot of money for VR gaming. Apparently billions of dollars, at the very least, trying to push and build a VR market. And I could have told him that this was a bad idea because it's just not there yet when it comes to VR. It's an interesting idea and, and concept, but the technology still has a long ways to go before the mainline consumers are willing to shell out the money to buy VR headsets. Plus, they're still kind of big, clunky, and uncomfortable. So, yeah, I, I just am not surprised at all that this particular project by Meta, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg uh, is not going to happen, even though they proudly announced it many years ago. I think they announced it because they were hoping that they would get investors on board and excited about it, but without any proof, without any information, evidence that they had been working on the GTA San Andreas VR at all. I would like to see some receipts, Mark. I would like to actually see some video, even if it's like beta or early alpha of this uh, GTA San Andreas uh, VR project as some proof that you actually were working on it. But I don't know if we're ever going to get that because, like I said, it's been apparently put on indefinite hold, delayed, probably forever, most likely scrapped at the moment. So I don't expect it to happen. And I think the problem is this game is built as a third-person game, just like most of the GTAs have been, except for, I would say, GTA V is the first hybrid, like uh, first-person, third-person, and GTA Six will be the same way. But these older GTA games from the 3D universe were built as third-person experiences. Now, are there mods that uh, could make you go into first-person on PC, yeah, but they weren't the best mods. So I, I had difficulty believing that a VR version of GTA San Andreas would work. It wouldn't really feel like GTA San Andreas because would you actually be able to explore the entire map of uh, San Andreas in VR? Could you do that similar to like a holodeck in Star Trek? That would be awesome. I look forward to the day when VR is, is like that at the, the same level as holodecks and uh, Star Trek, uh, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager. I don't know if that's gonna happen in this century. I think we're like we're at least three centuries away from that <laughs> according to uh, sci-fi, but maybe sooner rather than later. But yeah, I think that most people were very, very cautious about this particular project, even like the, the biggest GTA fans and GTA San Andreas fans we're most likely very hesitant to put any hopes into this ever becoming a reality. And I think that Rockstar most likely doesn't care as much about it because their primary focus is GTA 6, getting it ready for a fall 2025 release on the PS5 and Xbox Series consoles. And yeah, it's just another prime example of another VR project that was too good to be true and ultimately flush down the toilet. One day, I think that VR will be amazing. One day, it'll be something that more consumers in the gaming industry will hop onto. Once the technology improves, once the, the headsets are smaller and less clunky, and there's more you can do in the, the VR world, 
because a lot of times it's it's very limited to where you have to move forward by pushing a button and it just skips you forward a little bit like in i guess mist it's an older pc game that was really cool back in the day it was basically a bunch of photographs that they did or computer generated photographs that were very realistic looking for a pc game of its time but that's pretty much what it was and that's all that's how i've always seen vr not really much different but it will be cool one day when the gaming industry decides to give vr another chance but for now i think we're going to start seeing less and less regarding vr and uh, it, that's because of the limitations the hardware is too expensive and uh, i've already stated the things that i feel when it comes to why most people aren't going to jump on board with with buying a vr headset plus there's really not that many uh, games out there there are some vr games but a lot of them aren't very good <laughs> they're, they're mostly like demo tests at best and there might be a, a small handful that are solid vr games but the rest like for example the beer the what the batman arkham vr game years ago i mean it was it was okay looking but i wasn't willing to put out money to buy a vr set in order to play that and that's the problem you have to make really good vr games that feel like games that people are willing to spend money on vr for i mean some people have dropped money for it but at the same time I'm not surprised at all that this project didn't really go anywhere at the end of the day. That's pretty much it when it comes to information we have regarding GTA San Andreas VR. And I think that most GTA fans and even most GTA San Andreas fans probably were at best keeping an eye on it, kind of curious about it, but weren't overly excited about it. But, you know, maybe one day in the distant future, we might have a really cool or many really cool open world vr games once you know the technology is there for now you know it's i guess back to the drawing board when it comes to uh vr design hardware software and i'm sure they'll try again in a few more years your thoughts views and opinions regarding uh the indefinite delay of gta san andreas were you surprised at all about this announcement were you looking forward to GTA San Andreas VR and just disappointed right now because it's not happening? Or was it pretty much what you expected? Feel free and let me know below in the comments section.